Welcome, Superintendent No at this time. Thank you all very, very much for being here today. Thank you for joining us in this great celebration. This has been a long time coming, and it's thanks to all of you out there that we are going to be able to celebrate this day. I want to take just a moment to recognize a few people that are here. Some of them may even speak later, but I just want to make sure I recognize some of the people that are here. We have a few of the trustees from the township. We have Mr. Honorlaw, Ms. Dukes Davis, and Mr. Burning. We also have our township manager, Mr. Gilbert. We have our state representative. Where are you, Mr. Denson? There's Mr. Denson. Mr. Denson is over here, and we thank you for being here. We have our homegrown chief of fire department. Where are you, chief? Leiniger, thank you. Born and raised in Finneytown. All right. We have representatives from our construction company, Skanska. We have Mr. Smoker, Mr. Backer, and... Becker and Mr. Soto, wave your hands. Thank you. And Mr. Mitchell, didn't forget you. Okay. We have our representatives from our architect company, Immersion Design. We have Ms. Christy Boron and Mr. Brett. Oh, they're right there beside. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, we have... We have people here who have gone to school and then sent their children here or just sent their children here. If you have been part of the Finneytown District as a parent or a student, please raise your hand or wave your hand. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of people here who work at Finneytown now or have worked at Finneytown in the past. Please wave your hands. Look at the support from our staff. That's awesome. All right, let me see if I've got everybody. I ha also want to recognize our Finneytown Local School Board members that are here today. We have the president, Chad Engelman. Wait, raise, or wave your hand. We have the vice president, Tony Gast. Wave your hand. And we have one of our members, Cindy Redman. Okay. All right, so again, welcome. I am so excited that we're here today and this is finally getting going. It's been a long journey. I started here five years ago. And as I started to talk to parents, students, and community members, everyone said, what are you going to do about our buildings? What are you going to do about our facilities? I hadn't even been through the facilities yet, so I kept saying, I don't know. Let me go check it out. And when I did, it was time. It really was time, and we, if you've been here, you know the, the story, we jumped through hoops only to be told, oops, we're out of money from the state. And then all of a sudden we found a loophole and so we were able to get back in the running. And then our wonderful campaign committee, and we've got Mr. and Mrs. Hirsch here who headed up that committee, wave your hands. <laughs> who did such a fabulous job with the campaign that nearly 70% of our community voted yes for this levy, or this bond issue, it's not a levy. And I, people I don't even know in education, I went to a conference right after that, and they were coming up to me saying, that's unheard of, nobody ever gets 70%, what did you do? I need to know what you did. And I said, well, I don't know, we just have a good community. <laughs> so there you go, you guys have made it easy, but it has been a long time coming, our students deserve this, our community deserves this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Superintendent No. At this time, I would like to introduce our current president of the Finneytown Board of Education. Please welcome Chad Engelman to the stage. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm hoping the rain's gonna hold off for the next half an hour. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. 
Um, once again, I want to thank the community for your support coming out here today and everyone who put time and energy into either the bond issue or any of the planning that went into these buildings. It's amazing to see everyone's face right now. So I'm here tonight to talk about the name of the new building. And a couple months ago, we realized that we were referring to the project as the new building in all of our documents and paperwork. And it became obviously clear it's time for us to start thinking about a name. And when you start thinking about a name, um, it can get very, very, um, the decisions that can happen around it can be very intense. So what we decided to do was we put together a survey that we posted on, it was a Google Doc, we posted it on the internet, on Facebook, and um, to see what the community wanted to use as a name for this new building, the new building. We had over 130 responses to the survey. The survey was live for about a week and a half, two weeks. And then um, Meredith Baker, principal at Brent Elementary, formed a committee. The committee consisted of administrators, uh, staff, community members, and we reviewed the survey results. And I, going into the meeting, my only comment was uh, we are not naming the school Schooly McSchoolface, which if anyone remembers what happened to the English Navy when they uh, had a public naming of one of their boats. Um, so we went into the committee meeting and the committee was waiting and Meredith says, well, 48% um, of the respondents picked a name that f came to the top of the list. And the next name had 6% of the vote. The third place name had 6% of the vote. And everything else that was suggested for a name was a singleton. So it was very obvious from the survey results of the name that the community wanted to grab, the community wanted to move forward with. So do we have anyone who can, we have a sign. Every construction site needs to have a sign on the road that identifies the project, who's working on the project. So this is our sign that we are going to unveil. This sign will be moved out uh, in the coming weeks to go on to Winton Road. And the name of the new building that 48% voted on is Finneytown Elementary. I would like to thank everyone who took part in the survey, um, everyone who threw out their opinion, and I feel that the process we went to to get to this was a very democratic process. So thank you guys once again for attending today, and I'm going to hand it back to Grant. All right, thank you again to Mr. Engelman, our board president of the Finneytown Board of Education. At this time, we are going to have some remarks from our Ohio State representative for the 33rd District. Not only is he a representative for us of Springfield Township in this area, but he is also a parent of a student at Brent. So please welcome Cedric Denson to the microphone. Please welcome Cedric. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here with you all. As I reflect, I was just standing here thinking, I didn't know when I came here a couple of years ago to talk about how we were going to handle school funding from the state level, that that was also going to be my orientation to our son then attending the school. When we came here, we came to a PTA meeting and I asked my wife, I said, will you pick me up? And she picked me up and she brought our son and they came in and before I knew it, there was all these conversations happening and the rest was history and Harper is here with us today and he's in kindergarten here at Brent Elementary. So this was a, a long journey that I did not see coming. But what I learned about being here was that Finneytown was not only just a small neighborhood of folks who cared about everything, Finneytown was a village and it was clear that you could see that this was a village that was raising everyone's children. Everyone was concerned about where everyone came from, no matter what walk of life they were in. And I was just proud to know that our son was gonna be a part of a village that was raising everybody up to be everything they could be. As we think about the new school that's gonna be built, the real opportunity that we have is that we don't know what student may walk through those doors that may be the doctor to cure cancer. We don't know who would be the best architect in the world that we could possibly be educating. We don't know the possibilities that can stand for us having a new state-of-the-art building 
for our students here in Finneytown to walk into. But one thing I do know is that the team that puts this together, the songs that I was hearing on virtual school every morning from Miss Krutzinger put on a happy face. <laughs> I even found myself dancing to it in the kitchen while I was getting breakfast ready. Or as we drop off Harper in the morning, how they come out and music's playing and they're getting the kids pumped up. There is so much excitement around education. And that's not something you see everywhere. That's not anything that I've seen at all the school districts that I have the opportunity to visit. So we've got something great here. We've got something exciting here. I'm happy to be a part of it. One of the uh, realities is that the state still has to figure out a way to properly fund our schools, especially Finneytown. And as we get further into House Bill 1 now, which is looking at that, I'll guarantee you all I'll do everything I can to step up to make sure we get our fair share from the state down here to Finneytown. Congratulations to everybody. I'm so happy to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you again, Representative Denson. At this time, I would like to introduce our current principal of Brent Elementary and the future principal of our Finneytown Elementary. Please welcome Meredith Baker to the microphone. Hello, everybody. So I have to, I have to confess, I have to use this because when I talk in front of a lot of people and the news, my handshake, of course, nobody else was, nobody else used it, but that's okay. I am here and I'm so grateful. Um, as Mr. Anderson said, my name is Meredith Baker. I'm the principal of Brent Elementary and I will be the principal of our new elementary school, um, Finneytown Elementary, which is very exciting um, in just a few years. And I couldn't be more honored. Um, I can't. I can't help to think that the spring rain is kind of fitting. Um, when we have rain in the spring, it represents new beginnings. Um, a very special friend to me gave me a calendar, and Friday's quote said, no rain, no flowers. And I can't, I can't just imagine how, how fitting that is, that as we had rain this morning, and now we're participating in our groundbreaking ceremony of the flowers that we will have uh, a growing in our new building. So as, as um, we move forward, I can't wait to begin to dream about the possibilities that we have in our new building and with our students and our community. So, so without further ado, Mr. Anderson, if you could announce our first group. I am happy and excited to do so. So first up, uh, we would like to have um, some members of our board and admin team join that area. So at this time, Chad Engelman. <laughs> Supporting this. We're excited about the new buildings and the possibilities that they will bring to our students and our staff and our community. The school truly is the heart of a community and we're excited that we're going to have um, Finneytown Elementary for our kids in the coming year. Thank you for your support, braving the colder temperatures and um, how awesome is this that we have this many people to come out and support this work. So again, thank you. Have a great rest of your Sunday. We look forward to a great week at school. See y'all. Thank you. Thank you. 